Well, we are coming back. Um, we had been in an executive session earlier this evening, and now we're back into the public meeting. We're here with Bob Bullock, our building inspector. Uh, I would like to remind you, Mr. Bullock, that this meeting is being audio and videotaped. Okay. <laughs> so we're here for your budget tonight. Okay. Well, it's um, it's the building department's budget as well as the uh, facilities um, budget, which facilities uh, budget um, goes well beyond the building department. Mm -hmm. um, so what I've done is I've uh, as I've done each year, I've tried to put all the actual uh, costs for each item, uh, each item itemized for each building uh, for the past four years, and then last year's budget, and then uh, the level funded budget as well as the level service budget so you, you get a good grasp of um, what we've spent in the past uh, and then where we're, we're going in the future so with that our our budget is pretty close to being level funded uh, um, in a lot of areas um, overall uh, in the facility budget I'm um, starting with um, the overall budget uh, if we um, is only two percent higher than uh, on the level service funded uh, budget and level funded at the um, obviously on the level funded budget so what we've done here is uh, we've we've made a lot of savings on our electrical um, costs because of the uh, photovoltaic field that we have down at the landfill mm -hmm. and with that um, those funds we've been uh, trying to get some of the um, the larger uh, facility items um, taken care of uh, right now, we're redoing the uh, the I loop, um, which is all the internet connections throughout the um, uh, municipal buildings throughout the town, as well as the two schools. Um, we're um, we're bidding out the um, the town hall to be um, painted, as well as um, the possibility of doing it in vinyl. Um, uh, some of the costs of doing the, the painting is uh, exorbitant and if we can do the vinyl for um, and be able to you know mm -hmm. last longer and it's just a exactly. power wash, 35 it 40 years um, versus um, every seven to eight years right now we're eight years out so so um, this budget basically um, incorporates uh, I've got four projects for next year um, that um, we'll, each one of them will actually save us, um, not each one of them, but um, two of them will actually save us money operationally uh, for the years to come as well. Um, one of them being the HVAC system at the police fire station. We're actually looking at doing heat pumps there, which uh, would be a, um, um, a huge savings as far as oil. Um, mm -hmm. Oil would go away. Our electrical costs are... Um, do we carry the air condition at the station? We do. Yeah. So the heat pumps would take over on that, right? You do the mini splits, the ductless mini splits? Yep. Yeah. Uh, right now we're pricing that out, and um, financially I think it's going to be a really a win win for the town um, as far as doing that. 25 or 30, right? Uh, closer to 60. Really? Yeah, 60. That much? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to do the, 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 the apparatus floor, the, okay. um, the living the, space and back? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, not the trailer. The trailer. Not the, the trailer already is all set as far as that goes. Um, the other thing that is in this budget, um, and I don't know if you want to go from building to building or if you want to just an overview. Um, I'm fine with an overview. I, mean, I see that I haven't looked at every detail, but two and a half percent, uh, two percent. Okay. Uh, one thing we did um, this year is we did pay off the uh, the trailer lease that we had at the uh, police fire station, so. That's no longer there. That's um, substantial savings there. Uh, the um, Bob. Yep. What would it cost to tear down Old Town Hall? <coughs> mm -hmm. um, I would say probably uh, twenty thousand dollars in that area. Uh, I don't think it would be much more than that. It, curiously, Bob and I have had discussions about that and uh, one of the things that that comes up if we do that is just the grandfathering of the footprint of the building that you have there now mm -hmm. so well that doesn't go away for me that doesn't go away does it only if the zoning changes but the other part of it is the um, you know is the conservation part you know with the um, the stream running next to it 
But you wouldn't, wouldn't it be grandfather for the footprint? I don't think so. Once you tear it down, usually then you have to rebuild it within two years. Two years right. And then after that, it, um, your grandfathering generally goes away. Yep. So It's pretty quick for us to react. do something in two years. Yeah, yeah. It worries me. I mean, I like the tear down idea, but I'm going to come up with something yeah, two, in two years. But are you asking Jim because it looks like from the budget it's only cost the spending what about twenty eight hundred bucks for the whole time out? We've so we've shut everything down over there. So and um, recreation doesn't use anything over there anymore. She has some things in there storage, but um, not no classes. There's no active classes. There's there. no active okay. classes going on. Um, so but still has running water. No, we shut oh, the water off. So it doesn't have an occupancy permit. Correct. It's just storage. So, okay. Cold storage. Very, cool. <laughs> very, very cool story. Yes. In squirrel habitat. Squirrels love it. Well, fortunately, we haven't had th that many problems with that. Bees. Maybe bees. some mice, and uh, we have had bees in the past. Yeah. Um, it so. does. There is a. I haven't been there inside in a while, but there is a lot of records. You know, and that would be a, a problem that we would create if we. Well, yeah. I mean, but you've got your your copiers allow you to scan the PDF, right? Yeah, we looked at that six or seven years ago. I mean, I'd, and I'd love to do that, um, but, but we'd have to, you know. Boy Scout, Eagle Scout projects. Yeah, and but you got to be very careful with, with the garbage in, garbage out. I mean, you, you, you got to set, I mean, that's the whole trick is setting up a file structure of storing all that stuff. <coughs> and, uh, it's something we're going to have to chomp at at some point. But. So, Bob, I noticed, um, so the PV systems, you've taken about 130,000 or 113,000 out of electricity and then added in the $100,000 PV purchase because we have to purchase the electricity. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have a revenue side component of that, correct? Um, so we, I mean, we get a credit. We get a credit, but generally those credits equal what we're purchasing for um, so utilizing for electricity. There is a... Right now, a balance that um, a credit that's due to us that we have to utilize um, somewhere, and we've talked about actually using that credit at King Philip North to um, maybe offset, you know, a payment to them. Um, we haven't gone down that road completely yet, just because uh, I think if we if we uh, go to the heat pump systems at the um, We'll at the energy. police fire, we'll be using a little bit more electricity there, but it may not even be that much more. We still may, um, that may be a real win there because we get rid of the oil tanks in the Sally Port area, it gives them more room. We clean out that back um, area where the boilers are and actually have a storage room there. Uh, and then the oil that we spend, which is about $24,000 there, um, you know, maybe a savings because uh, I don't think we're going to use anywhere near that for electricity. And if we do, we have the credits already built up, you know, um, to take care of that. Are these buildings all natural gas? Library, town hall? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, oil. Oil, yeah. Is there any talk about conversion still? You know, everybody keeps asking me that question, but it, I have a hard time spending that much money to convert them to gas when um, it's a substantial amount of money to put in a new uh, gas furnace uh, boiler um, when these are working fine and I think when we go to replace them I think that's the time to change it over to gas but to do it prematurely I think we're just gonna uh, I think I would I think you might want to sit down with with grid or who's the gas company Columbia yeah. Columbia sit down with Columbia um, a they're dying to work with small C and I, small commercial, which is what we count as. Mm -hmm. So their incentive plans are incredible right now. And the price uh, delta is really significant. Well, we tried it with the police fire to actually switch. Before mm -hmm. we got into the thought of doing heat pumps, um, which was just a, a revelation, you know, just last week. But... Um, do it, changing that over to gas, and when we started to look at it and price it out, it, you know, it really wasn't worth doing. It was, it was in the um, upwards of twenty thousand dollars to convert them over. So it was, so, and uh, Columbia Gas wasn't giving us anything at the time. Mm -hmm. So um, that was about three years ago that we did that exercise. Um, maybe they've changed. You know, maybe they're giving a little bit more incentives now. It changes year to year. So. Yeah. 
tell you that the experience we had at the Federated Church that you're aware of, yep. we converted the gas. Um, it isn't what it's cracked out to be. And we spent over that to convert two, two burners to gas. Yeah. And um, the break point is nowhere near what we were told it would be. Yeah. That's, and I think the heat pumps is really something that um, hopefully will be a lot low, lower maintenance uh, with the way that uh, we're looking at it. We did go over to um, uh, Millis and took a look at their library that they did the whole library and heat pumps. A little bit more elaborate system than what we're thinking about with the um, police fire station. but. Um, but uh, you know, it seemed like it was heating even in this you know severely cold winter. Uh, it's been heating the building um, really well. See, so yeah, they have problems when it gets to like five degrees out. Yeah, it, and I we were there on a day that was probably in the single digits, and it was wasn't. Uh, I, 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 I heard yeah. you and Ron go over to Mills. I didn't realize. Yeah. It, yeah. You would pull out the oil burner entirely. Um, on the police fire station, yeah, we would, yeah, because <coughs> they have um, they have electric backups too, so it's not like you won't have anything if it's not keeping up. So, okay, okay. Um, well, uh, yeah, we'll we'll contact Columbia Gas again. That's not a, yeah, it's not hard to do. Bob, on um, the police and fire station. Yep. Um, what uh, other than the roof? What other major issues are we facing in the next three, four, five years? Um, I think right now, you know, doing the heating system and doing the roof over, uh, the first two things. The, n the next thing is really to look at the bathrooms and, and renovate the bathrooms inside. Um, you know, I know that we talk about trying to do a new fire station and, uh, you know, if that happens, great. but. Uh, in the meantime, you know, some of the, those conditions are pretty deplorable, you know, and they need to be renovated. So I, I don't believe that any of them are really even handicap accessible. So, um, well, the bathrooms aren't. I know no. That. no um, so. did, and what would be the possibility? I know we talked about I, I, May I, Mr. Chairman? Just, mm -hmm. uh, um, what would be the possibility of... Um, just linking on the back of that building one enclosed area for a squad car for one in, uh, one, just one. Sc just one squad car uh, I'm thinking about the issue of winter time mm -hmm. so you have like one hot car ready to go slash warm inside as opposed to running it I think it would probably be um, efficient to do a two car garage versus a single car garage because I think but just, just a shell I'm just talking it. a shell here yeah, and sometimes you can just get a metal shell building, and for just for even cheaper than doing it out of a you know a foundation and then a wood structure. But um, you're probably going to be in the twenty-five, thirty thousand dollar range, I would assume. So new roof. Yeah. Uh, some kind of a shed, cheap shed, twenty-five grand. Uh, there's three bathrooms, I think. Uh, I believe that's this three. I think it's three. Yeah, yeah it's three. Yeah. Just um, back in the fire. There's the one up by dispatch, and there's police by the cells. And then there's the cells themselves have facilities. So yeah, you, that's you, a whole that's a whole nother piece. Yeah. You, 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 but you could make significant improvements to sustain that building now that dispatch is going out eventually. Um, understanding that the jail cells, and I mean, I'm not saying it's perfect, but you know. I'm not going to make everybody happy. That's well, for sure. you never know, <laughs> and, and and we don't have ten million dollars. That's right. To spend. So, you know, the point is, is can can we, for you know, under six figures, make this place, you know, reasonable to continue to utilize it in its current facility? Uh, I mean, I, seem I, could. I think I can. You know, I mean, uh, if I can continue to use these funds, these electrical funds, uh, to continue to. Um, to bring up our buildings to where they should be, uh, that one, that building will get the probably the most care out of it. You know, the most help. I, you know, the uh, the heating system. It, it, we've had problems every year for the I don't know how long now. It just seems like we're just chasing our tails sometimes. The um, 
the roof is a constant um, issue that it you know we've been pretty good for the past few years but um, you know, the original installation wasn't even a good one because the the water's not running to the drains so you know when we do it over we have to do it over by adding insulation to get it all pitched properly and running to the drains and and that's going to eliminate a lot of the problems but um, that's going to help there's another area of roof that probably could use a little bit of reframing to um, to get it away from the door because when the, the water starts the ice starts melting it runs over the door and then starts freezing up and it's actually frozen that door uh, shut so they um, they've had problems getting it, getting in and out of it which uh, it's just the way the the original building was um, designed. But these uh, are these are all issues that can be overcome by you know some corrective action. But, but at, at not an unreasonable cost. Right. Uh, and and with the issue potentially of regionalization on the table mm -hmm. at some mm -hmm. point in the future, mm -hmm. it, it seems to me that that we're always going to have a presence there, you know, of some degree. But but what it all will entail is an unknown to us at this point. Mm -hmm. And. Um, you know, as much as I understand the issues are there, I, I think maybe we ought to change direction and start looking about what we can do to make this acceptable the way it is and not be spending a whole lot of money here. Can I just, just throw an alternate? Sure. Or at least a devil's advocate point of view. Not to say that I don't want to explore regionalization to its fullest extent because I, I want to. Uh, you know, we have been and we will continue to do that, but there are some relatively big ticket items too that are pretty critical I mean the cells themselves you know need to really be replaced I mean they're not up they're failing every year so there's there's what do you mean by failing the the, the doors the the facility the, the they fail inspection every year they fail inspection by the by state, the state yeah. so so that you know the, the the cell doors aren't adequate the toilets aren't up to standard I mean just the entire room the cell itself is is failing. I mean, so again, you know. So how do we get by? Because what, what do you tell the state when it fails? Are you going to fix it or we just don't fix well, it? Well, uh, you know, they're they're not they're not they're not dangerous. So they're not making. You know, we're not at a at a, you know, we're not at a red, but we're at a yellow light. Um, but, but we don't do any long term incarceration in that system either. Yeah, well, almost doesn't but matter. if we hold somebody, well, I know it doesn't if we matter, hold somebody for overnight and they they get hurt, we're in trouble. Uh, so I'm, I'm just just let me throw out a couple things and then go ahead. I, because I'm I if we don't take the I you know I don't I certainly don't mind looking at the patchwork process but we got to really and, I, and I'm not saying you're not saying this but we got to take it very seriously because there's the cells there's there's dispatch and granted that may go away in a year I hope it will um, but the, does the still the IT infrastructure you go through that building and wires are running through you know yes fallen out of the ceiling um, because everything's been patched you know upgraded over the past 40 years um, there's no meeting space room there's no female locker space and we have two female officers now the male locker space is really no more than a room I, like this I, I with, well. with filing cabinets in. I, I know I know um, the issues the fire department is is literally out of the building um, other than their two offices so you know it, it works but they got to run across a parking lot in the middle of the night in the middle of winter to get to the to get to the truck so I just I'm not saying I don't want to go down the piecemeal but we got to take it very seriously to, in order to do that and we need to um, because I don't want to spend five hundred thousand dollars over the next four years and then and still be still be you know 80 yards from the goal line uh, agreed and, and you, you and I both yeah, sit, I know. sit on that committee so we know we know the facts well and we, we've explored I can remember four options um, but the point is, is is you know there's no reimbursement for this facility so it's all on the backs of the taxpayer so and I understand you know you know how much I like to play with the debt and all that kind of good yep. stuff so you know, it's doable but we have talked about the possibility. You're on a two, Bob. You remember. We've, we've talked about the possibility is are there alternatives to this that, you know, can get us 15 years uh, out of this facility that don't have that kind of a price tag? And if, if you're listening, if you're, if you're listing, and I, I'm aware of all of those, okay, um, but 
the, the cost of what we've looked at every time, if you correct me if I'm wrong, but every time we've looked at something new to the building, whether it be a new fire component and making the fire component the police component because the doors aren't wide enough, we've already seen that happen. Mm -hmm. you, know? Uh, you know, meeting rooms, I, I, I got all that, I understand. But if we don't have that, and, and we don't think that we can push that concept, what can we do? Is, is there a plan B that we've never really flushed out, Jack, on our committee? We never flushed this one out. No. Is, is there a plan B that allows us to make this a usable, usable facility uh, that is within a, you know, our price range, whatever that number might be? You know, whether it's a half a million. And the, the building we looked at, even the downsized without the um, dispatch was still a $10 million building. Yeah. A lot of money. I mean, all of Jack's points are valid. I mean, these, I, these I, are I understand. And that's just all the serious tip issues that <clears throat> aren't going to go away, and that's why you, we're not going to make anybody, you know, everybody happy. Because if we try to fix it up, you know, um, and we can put a plan together to say, you know, we could do X, Y, and Z, but there's still going to be short. Um, you're you're never going to. You're never going to get there. But can you get to a point where it's it? It's not what we want, but it's usable. It's acceptable, uh, you know, to some degree. And I and I know there'll be people that say it'll be never acceptable, and, you know. But mm -hmm. it's it's a matter of paying for it, guys. Yeah. I don't That's think you're ever going to get away from um, you know the trailer until you actually add on, though. I suspect you're right, but we own it now anyway. Yep. So, you know. hmm. Last time we tried this was what five years ago. We, well, we did it at the same time the school was voted on, right? And, and that that's what helped Which it get as close as it was, and it was a 15 vote difference. Yeah. yeah. Either helped it or hurt it. Yeah, I don't know. I know. Well, I I can see why people might ticket split that one. Mm -hmm. Well, and, people and really may, like may have felt they had to make a choice. Yep. You, know, you, you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, who knows? Who knows? But it was a 15 vote failure. <sighs> But it's still a $10 million price tag. Yep. Yeah, which is, you know, 10 bucks a month. <laughs> well, um, just uh, on a... On a actually, that's not too far off. Yeah. On an additional note to what we're talking about as far as adding the, um, the garage space, we, um, when, when I did the septic system over there at the building, we, we lost some spaces there. Right, I know. And we have still some funds in that, um, that funding for the septic system that we were going to actually clear some of the trees alongside that uh, parking area and extend it over so that uh, we can get some parking back, you know, uh, so it's not so congested there. So that's something that, um, you know, I've gotta, we've got to do some stuff at the planning board with an A&R plan, and then uh, the, we have plans to take some of the trees down there and, and t uh, level that area off so we can get some more parking in there. So. I mean, there's always the option of, you know, putting the the extra garage space uh, if you want to put a building up, you know, something very basic just for, you know, um, storing the cars there. I mean, that's that's another option. So. Well, maybe we ought to get the group back together and start exploring some of these before we start making any substantial investments into a building that, uh, you know. Throwing we good don't money want to throw it down the tubes. Yeah, because as soon as we try to add on here uh, to the existing garage that's there, you're going to lose in parking spaces on either side. And you have a generator on the other side, too, that right. would be in the well, way. I, I was talking about a shed in the back. Well, you have the septic in the back, so. Uh, but off to the side of the land we own that we bought <laughs> on the side? Uh, in the back? Yeah, if you're, looking at the, if you're looking at it from Main Street, the parking area to the right is all, yeah, that's all open. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> it's setback issues though from a residential district, don't you? Um, yeah, that's that is an issue. Mm. I, don't, I don't see a bottom line. All the sub. all the sub. I see all the sub accounts. I don't see a unified grand total. Five seventy nine nine. If I'm not mistaken. Where's that? First page, Robert, yeah? First page on the bottom in the middle, right where it should be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. I, I didn't. Yeah, everything's that's carried over, Rob. That's all these? That lower section, yeah. Okay. I didn't add it, but I'm just assuming that's where it was. It's yeah. bullet math. It takes a little while to get used to. I've 
<laughs> I'm still getting 2.05, Bob. It's very well organized once you understand the numbers. It is. <laughs> Again, well, 2.05 at a level service. We want to give them that. Yes. And your big tickets are library. Well, 2.05 at a level service is a reasonable budget. Hmm. Supposed to be negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the level fund is. <laughs> um, well, I, I want you to invest in our facilities. Mm. Uh, they're well in need. Mr. Uh, Garrity doesn't, apparently, but <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some other things Jim we could I'm do. I'm negotiating. <laughs> if you want us to invest right, Jim, we could spend a little more money in places if you want us to. No, that's okay. Um, Scott, do you have any questions? No. No, I got it. Oh. I would be tickled to see some MMBTU per square foot calculations on the buildings. That would be so exciting. I am. I thought the Energy Committee was doing that. Well, yeah, but your your group has to actually input exciting. the data to make that work. You'd be excited. Because we don't, you know, the Energy Committee is a bunch of volunteers. They don't get the oil bills, things like that. Okay. So that would be really nifty. Okay. And we should have those ready right by around the middle of <gasps> middle of May or something. That one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, you'll have to show me where that website is that I, we can input all that. Yeah, let's talk offline. Um, I've, uh, I think he means he's volunteering to do it for you, Bob. I got some <laughs> interesting. I, I'm going to have some. You know, I'll have Tuesday nights in a couple of yeah. months. Yeah, he heavy heavy inputting for everything for you. Building garages, whatever you need. Plumbing, <laughs> the police cars. No, in all seriousness. Well, let's let's talk offline. All right. Okay. Do you want to talk about the building department? Building department? No, actually, nice job, Bob. I mean, except for the Byzantine confusing spreadsheet that was intended to befuddle us. But Byzantine? I like the word. Um, well, actually, uh, the, the, um, the dive in permits between 12 and 13, is that um, the River's Edge construction slowing down? Um, that could have been just a certain project. Um, no, because rivers. Oh, oh, it was the solar, wasn't it? Yeah. The yeah, electric like, permit yeah. was solar. Yeah, 422 yeah. is probably right there. I remember we said that was one time. <laughs> yeah. And sure well, was. But, but yeah. also the building permits. Was that the solar yeah. too? No, the building permits have been actually increasing with the. Um, I, I think we did the most building permits uh, last year between that and electrical. Mm -hmm. um, it was the most that we've ever done. So. That's the show number, though. Oh, because it was such a building permits based on value. So oh, was yeah. there a building permit separate from the electrical permit with the solar array? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so they got whacked twice. Yeah. Nice. That's what that was. Okay. Like that. Crafty negotiations. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> That's why you didn't get a, uh, an opening a party. Yeah, no, we did not. No. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get that little uh, stand that we were talking about, you know, with the plan and, you know. No, no little signs. All right. Jesus. Uh, hearing no other questions for Bob. Thank you very much. I, I do have one question for Bob, but oh, sorry, not on the budget. To get you. Oh. Sure. On the warrant. Oh? Um, I think yeah, we're jumping ahead. Any other time we, we, had, we had talked, we had mm -hmm. mentioned, incidentally, Mr. Chairman, about oh, yeah. uh, pushing the zoning articles off until yep. the fall. Um, obviously, other than the ones by petition. Right. Uh, but Bob had mentioned, uh, Bob has a couple in here, and there was some he, he explained it to me, but I thought it might be beneficial to have him review why they're here, because these we may not want to push off. Um, these are all doing uh, <coughs> dealing with the medical yeah. offices. Um, anyway, that uh, we had zoning that allowed medical offices by right. Uh, I went in and uh, changed them all to a special permit. That was, that was based on some inquiries about um, placing a uh, methadone clinic in town. So... Um, I just thought it would be prudent to have the board look at it and not just issue these things um, wherever. So, so that's all these bodies? That got my attention. That was, uh, I think, the six of them. Okay. Um, Five or six, yeah. The others were... Well, essentially, it's just B2, B4. That it was by right. Um, C1. Uh, uh, it's it, it, oh, yeah, it just... Unless I'm reading it wrong. Right. So you, right. so actually, all the areas. Yeah, but that's only one of them. Oh, yeah, but then now you have to go into the um, the other uh, districts. Where do we do that? Then I guess. Um, 
these aren't numbered yet, so. 17B. <coughs> well, the, the short version of this, Bob, is is that that by making this change, you're you're in, you're putting into our rules an oversight process that gives someone the opportunity to decline. Right. But it's any medical well, building well now, though, right? So Pine Street Medical Building would have to be yeah. special permits. See, it seems You're to be get restricted. You're going twenty-two that. doctors coming in for special permits for the Pine Street Medical Building. Uh, yeah, because that's a new I mean, use. I oh, that's true. I understand right. what we're going for here, right. but I think this is. I know it's, it, yeah. it's too too much of a sledgehammer. Because we want for medical. I know what medicals we want. We want to practice. And methadone with clinics are highly regulated everywhere. I mean, the state regulates them. I think they're afraid the people that come with them, but it's. No, I mean, but but it's not like a slam dunk putting these babies in. No. No, it's just there were inquiries that were being made, and I just thought it might be prudent to to just have think about the it. board take a look at this mm. and not just you know allow it anywhere. So. Well, we, the planners accept it. Yep. So like, April fourteenth. I think he's coming on board. Um, that's a good point, Bob. That it would impact every single doctor. Yeah. Um, and we like doctors. Well, you, you could. Like we like doctors. Offices. I don't know if you would do it for every doctor. I think you just do it for that site in that site. You but know. I don't know if it's worded that way. It might just it would be a use, and that building is a medical use. So. So, but then what would stop the? Because you'd have the special permit saying no methadone. I mean. Or allow it there. You know, if that's what they wanted to do. You know? It seems like it would discourage. You know, builders lazy doesn't want to dig into the semantics of our zoning bylaws, right? They might at first place now. Hopefully, federal they call government the regulates planet. methadone clinics. Uh, but I see what you're trying to do too. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt. Well, we're at pretty low risk between now and the fall. All they got to do is have an application in, and then they've beaten the zoning. You know, so. you grandfathered. Yeah. Oh, but if they see this on the, I mean, if they've already talked to you. So they just have to get an application in before, actually before the attorney general review or before? It's advertised. Before first advertising? Yeah. Advertising before town meeting? No, advertise, once these are, um, the warrant is advertised, I think that's. That uh, freezes the zoning. That freezes the zoning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can okay. check with town council, but I think that's. Mm. Well, we have time to review that. Mm -hmm. Was it? Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Salute. Mary just reminded me that on page ten, which is the one that has uh, the your breakout. That solar or is that? Uh, well, <coughs> yeah, that is the uh, that's the professional office building. It's the one with the table. The proposed. Existing versus proposed. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the so the. This this mar middle article it's got J seven A one A. You you said that that should be split into two articles, right? Well, is that the one that that, that uh, district map there? They they're gonna send you into section I for the B one, and the C one they're gonna send you to section J. That's what those asterisks are, are doing. I, I think so what she means is, see how there's two paragraphs in don't this I article? Have, is that the one it should be two oh, separate articles. Oh, yes. That's when you said split, right? Yeah, that's sorry. I didn't realize that's what you were saying. What do you got against ground-mounted in a commercial district? Um, I mean, I understand the residential argument. I may not agree with well, it. I understand it, but do you want it as an accessory use, or do you want that as the use, so that that lot is just nothing but photovoltaic panels? Uh, it's I mean, a if you look district. at the, if you look at your tax revenue, then you may um, you may want a building versus just a bunch of panels. Or it will but be tax purposes. Uh, you know, an empty lot now and an empty lot forever, versus well. I mean, in reality, not too many of these things are going to get built on green spaces. The financing isn't there for them on the green spaces. It has to be basically on a contaminated site on the next version of, of the solar renewable uh, renewable energy credits. But Yeah, I understand they're giving um, a lot more credits if they put it on a, a dirty yeah. site. Yeah, the, the clean, clean sites, sites. The, the credits aren't that hot. Yeah. Um, I, you know what, I, by doing a special permit, all you're doing is just making sure that um, 
you know, you're comfortable with where it's going. Because um, if it's by right, then right. you're mm -hmm. comfortable yes. or not, you can't you can't change it. You just you have you to do issue site that plan permit. review. Yeah, but you can't deny it though. Yeah, <coughs> we're trying to get the no out of Norfolk. Aren't we? I'm not saying no. I'm just saying it's just to take, a little, of a side, let us take a look yeah, at it. We're going back to the battle old days of permits for everything, aren't we here, Bob? And I'm looking at it for tax revenue for the town. To say, well, but but you, know, you only have so much commercial, so. It's better not been a rush to build either one. So here yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to change that, too, though. Right. So the argument, not I think. exactly under siege. But I know what you're saying, Bob. Once it's gone, it's gone. Like you said, a nice little thing could be a strip mall. I seem to think there's a, uh, there's a whole. Uh, Industrial park that they cut down all the trees for that is going absolutely nowhere. So it's not exactly like you know people no. are killing each other to get commercial land in Norfolk. Those lots all just got sold by the at, by the bankruptcy court. Pennies on the dollar, one fifty a lot, I think. Yeah. Get sold. Well, the, the one that bought all the interior lots is an electrical contractor that is renting a building in the town right now, and mm -hmm. he's indicated that his plan is to build a uh, a new facility on those lots with solar. So, um, on his roof, uh, he was talking about ground mounted. Uh, okay, I actually, you know, all this kidding aside, I do have a beef on one thing. I thought I saw him here somewhere. I didn't get out of here quick enough. No, I thought I saw him here allowing contractor offices in the B1 downtown. That's, that's not Bob's. That's, that's not Bob, right? That came on a ZBS page, page five. If you, if you, all right, know. I gotta say, I. Do not think that that is the highest and best use of downtown. Uh, we should put solar panels downtown. No, I don't think we should. Oh, I'm put solar sorry. Well, downtown. I misread you. I, I'm talking commercial. For that's the that's, solar. that's the kidding. one from the planning board. The planning board? Yeah, contract. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's planning board. Contract is headquarters. I, I mean, I, 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 Bob actually board. went to the zoning bylaw study committee and fought against it, Bob, just for you. I, 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 do, <laughs> I, do not, I do not favor putting on that article and the three from the zoning bylaw study committee uh, until we get this planner on and letting him work with these and bringing him back in the fall. Yeah. That would I mean, that's the whole reason, one of the main reasons we're getting the plan. I talked with uh, two members of the zoning bylaw study committee, and they support that. I thought they changed their mind on that contractor's headquarters, and they were actually not going to even submit it. So the planning board, uh, the zoning bylaw study committee. Well, it, it came out of planning. Yeah, it came out of planning board. Yeah, yeah I think they were going yeah, back. It came from bylaw study. Yeah, it came from bylaw. Yeah. Is there a particular applicant? Is that the issue? Are we driving zoning by uh, zoning? Um, I have an enforcement letter for them to not be there um, in the, on that particular lot, and I gave them till the spring if they were going to try to change zoning or. <coughs> Um, they can appeal the decision, but it's, it's an not an allowed. Use. It's not an allowed use, and they See, moved it, it, in there. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is why I want to wait. It is, you know, we we do. Reactive. But they're going to have to. They're going to have to get out in the spring. So. Well, but but we do reactive zoning. You know, we someone we says, effect, yeah. And, well, this was brought in by the applicant to see if they could. Well, but it, it's not a petition. It. This board, the warrant's closed. No, they went and talked to the planning board. Well, um, I, I think these, sh I, I personally would like to see these wait, just personal opinion, I'd like to see these wait till we get the planner on board and have mm -hmm. them work with these, work with the various boards, and see if we can't start getting this stuff right. I think the petitioner one has to go through. Right? Those, those have to. Those I'm have not talking to, about yeah. the petitioner. Yep. Yeah. 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 But we, we need to get this right. Yep. Yeah, I want to pump all the zoning Me off, too. including the solar stuff. Let a, let a planner look at that. And I, I, I do understand, you know, the bad cases make bad laws, the unfortunate citing, some mm -hmm. would say, but I, I agree. So we're going to kill those, the planning board one, the zoning board one. Can you do that? Yes. Yeah, or you can just. Okay. How about the um, stretch code? Stretch code. Harry Harrington. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Wow, up high on that one. <laughs> 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 he's jacking me up. It's like, oh, he's only got two months now, left. <laughs> Mary, oh, no. that, that is really stretching the definition. Way to go. All right. Nice job. Oh, and I was going to give you a Christmas present this year. <laughs> you were not. You <laughs> still have time. It'd be the fall meeting. <laughs> Are you all set with me then? <laughs> <laughs> we say yes, run. Get while the getting's good.
Thank, thank you, you, sir. Hey, good night, guys. Have we formally voted to close the warrant? We have not. not yet. It's no. on our we list, done list of things to do. Mr. Bullock Building Department. Exactly. Um, Bob hadn't opened up the door on the court. Just a question for Bob. I did not. No. Actually, uh, <laughs> I thought you did. Wasn't it? I thought, I thought you started it was, the question. It was a good question. No, they're good questions, though. All right. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. No, we. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do the action items. Get those out of the way. Unless Jack. I don't have. A, I don't have a. Uh, you don't have a real, I don't really have a budget and a capital item re to review, so okay. other than Bob, so we're, <laughs> right, we're let, yeah. Let's so we'll get push the warrant review to the end of this conversation. Let's just get these okay. actions item all the way and make sure we do them. Well, I see, yeah, okay, so consider appointing John Wellington to the Zoning Bylaw Study Committee. Okay. Uh, we have three right? appointments to the Zoning Bylaw Study Committee, and right now we only have two, and they've expired. Uh, those are Mr. Nicodemus and Mr. Byron. Um, so, I think you see further down the list. Oh, no. Uh, but we need to, at a future meeting, if you want to, uh, reappoint them. But with all the changes going on on the planning board, you know, because Mr. Byron is now on the planning board, I wasn't sure if you wanted to appoint him. They probably get some appointments, right? Right. Right now, Mr. Mc Clean is their appointment. Clean, clean. Right. So. I think it's in. So let's stick with it. We have this in front of us, right? So I move that we appoint John Wilds into the Zoning Bylaw Study Committee. I second. All right. Appointments made and second. Does, does the CONCOM have an appointment to the ZBSC? No. Don't think they do. Uh, I gotta look at my bylaws. Let me. That one's in the planning board, isn't it? Oh, I didn't. I missed that draw. <coughs> All right, I just have the zoning bylaws. Let me go grab the bylaws. Just take me a minute. Go. Sure. So we can put that hold then. We can do the other. Yeah, we'll hold that. Let's talk okay. about the other stuff. Um, I'll read them as clerk if you sure. agree, Mr. Chairman. Consider approving a wine tasting event for. Uh, Muriel? Muriel? How do Muriel? you pronounce that? Eastman. Muriel? Miss Eastman. That pronounce Muriel? <laughs> okay. Eastman at the Norfolk Public Library on March 8th, 2014 from 6 to 8 p.m. So moved. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. The ayes have it. Consider a wine tasting event at the Senior Center on April 11th, 2014 from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. This town's going to the grape here. So, so moved. Second. Motion is made and seconded to allow the COA to serve wine at the Senior Center on Friday, April 11th. At what event, Marion? Or is it just generic? <laughs> You'd like wine from 6 to 8? She didn't say that it was. So it's, it's happy, happy hour. hour. Yeah, I guess it's happy hour. Opening day? What? I know. There's no date, but I... I, I assume out. there is an event at the Senior yeah. Center that they would like us to tell you about and invite you to come to, but we don't actually know that at the moment. Hold on a second, actually. I don't think it says. <laughs> I like the happy hour idea. That should be four to seven, though. Wine tasting party. Wine tasting party at the senior center. Yes, they are Harkies not charging. Harkey's wine and spirits will be doing right. a presentation. Well, that's what the event is. Like. Okay. Very nice. good. If we read our packets, we would know this. Yes, yeah, sorry. We can't blame Marion on this one. All right. Admission <laughs> remains second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Consider approving the Norfolk Baseball's opening day parade on April 19, 2014, beginning at 12 noon. And I assume that's because they're going to open the baseball season. That'll be opening day. Yeah. <laughs> so, moved. Wine? <laughs> no, no, so moved. So no, moved. Like Second. I saw that too. I will Everybody. not be here. Unfortunately, please send my regrets, oh. but I, I will not be here. I should go. I have my last one. Yeah, she's definitely going. You should go. We need somebody that can throw a baseball. I'll forget. He's out. We I used to be a pitcher, but years. Rob can probably still throw better than me. My wife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> motion is made and second. Do all those say aye? Aye. aye. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. no. The ayes have it. Consider approving the Norfolk Grange number 135's Clean and Green campaign on May 3rd, 2014. Fifth annual. So moved. Um, motion has been made. Second. And seconded. Thank you, sir. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. The ayes have it. We can kill the minutes, too, if you want. I have read them. Okay. Uh, we have minutes for the meetings of uh, January 28th, Radio and Executive, and February 4th. So I have read the meeting, uh, read the minutes, and agree, and so move to approve. Seconded. Uh, all those in favor 
say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. All right, so we haven't closed the warrant, and we have not. We have down as a discussion Jane and Paul's farm. Which I think we've killed. Yeah, we, yeah. we uh, <coughs> did discuss Jane and Paul's in an executive session as it, as it uh, concerned negotiation. Um, as it concerned negotiation on the value of real estate. Um, so that was duly handled in executive session. So, Mr. Hathaway, do you have any enlightenment for us? No, I'm stumped. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the, on the, the con -con. Yeah, I know. I didn't know if he was stumped on any, like, any other things he had to tell us. I wouldn't think it would be stumped on that. But Apparently, it's under Marion's super secret. Can't we just make it then if it's not? Really? I guess we can't rescind it. I was going to say, like, condition. And, uh, they can't appoint themselves since he's on the con -con. But they Well, then uh, the con -con right. multiple appointments. I know what you mean. No, they're double did, dipping. Did we, do we have a motion and a second on Mr. Whittleton? I think we did, didn't we? Uh, to have discussion, I would hope we have a okay. motion second. Yes. That was what I was asking. Yes, thank you. We did. I though. just didn't remember. Thank it was so long ago. Yeah. It was. Let's re we'll remove it since we went on to other items. Okay. I thought it was. Wait to come back. Still don't know the answer. I thought it was a general bylaw committee, and it's, I don't see it in the general bylaws. I'm stumped. So for those at home, we're determining whether or not the ConCom has its own appointment to the ZBSC because if they do, then their chairman would most likely be an appointee of them. Or could be an appointee of them. Actually, it would be the best thing just to appoint someone else if they wanted to have more. <laughs> yeah. Someone text Rob then or text I thought, Jack. I thought it was just us on the planning board. I don't. Well, actually, I think the zoning board has an appointment. You would think, right? I uh, seem to recall uh, that. I think they do. You're right. I got a text. Hold on. Any luck? No, Mary <laughs> went to, she's got the list of committees and how they're organized upstairs. So she <laughs> went to go grab it. Actually, I think I have it. I have the bylaws right here. I just, uh, it's not in there. So it must be a standing committee. <laughs> Jack, is there a planned meeting of the Capital Outlay Committee? It's town meeting. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Is it, it's not been scheduled yet. They were trying to determine that at the last I knew. There's no, nothing posted for them. I'm ready, though. Gearing up. There are, uh, uh, I did add some articles that we've talked about um, kind of as the, uh, in the spirit of capital. Source of all information. Uh, so this is a town meeting created Yes, but it, I think appointment. it's in the zoning bylaws. I don't think it is, but we can argue about that later. Uh, seven members appointed as follows. Three members appointed by the Board of Selectmen. <coughs> one member or designee each appointed by the Planning Board, Board of Health, Conservation Commission, and Zoning Board of Appeals, and Town Council and Building Commissioner, ex officio, and non-voting. Okay. So to answer your question, yes, the Conservation Commission does have. Thank you very much, Marion. Do welcome. they currently have an appointee? Uh, no, uh, not not in the last year or so that the, I mean they've only had a couple of meetings it's been Mr. Byron, Mr. Nicodemus and Mr. McLean to the all right so we need a ZBA appointment we need a Board of Health appointment ZBA I'm not sure really should have an appointment to tell you the truth because I mean they're a quasi-judicial quasi-judicial board well, except though I actually was on the ZBSC as a ZBA member and you can when some of the stuff that we talked about was because, look, we keep seeing these cases because there's this issue. Yeah, that's true. So that's why we keep ending up with these things. Maybe we should get it off. Yeah. It, I guess that's it's true. You create. It's not like you're reviewing projects. You're creating law. So. And actually, we when we go to town, you know what we should do is add a warrant, add an article or to add the town planner as an ex officio. Oh. Since yeah, now we have a town go. planner. Hmm. Do we need another article to do that? Well, Did you just revise this? That, that, is, that is the list of can town see, meeting can I see that? created. Oh, so in Article 5 or 6? Yeah, the, under the group, CCO under the department reports and stuff. Yeah, so let's change that this year. So okay. as it's appointed by town meeting, we have plan it, uh, town planner. Well, uh, okay. So, I mean, I'm in favor of Mr. Weddleton joining yeah. the committee. Um, 
we can. It's not like we have people killing each other to be on um, ZBSC. Well, we have two apparently out of seven, so we're not doing very well. Yeah, we're going to have a quorum. So yes. Um, so I move that we appoint John Wellison to the Zoning uh, Bylaw Study Committee. Jack's turning red as we just I wasted will, ten I minutes will, of his time. No, it's fine. No, no. All right, so motion is made and seconded to appoint Mr. Wellington. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Jack, could you buzz the ad administrators for BO, the Board of Health, and the ZBA, and the CONCOM, since they're all the same people, and ask them if they could remind their boards of their responsibility to appoint a ZBSC member? That's probably, try it's probably hard trying to find one. It's like yeah. <coughs> that would be difficult to do. Um, I'm sure ZBA has, like, even an associate member who would, you know, hmm. it's something to do. I, it would be, it'll, you know, I'm in my list of things for the town planner to, you know, <laughs> that I'm hoping will be Nirvana once once he gets here. Uh, the ZBSC will be one thing that I, you know, hope he's kind of the acting chair of that. I was going to say I'd love to see him chair that committee. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, and because I, I think, well, actually, CONCOM does have uh, somebody who's wanted to participate now that I think about it. But, uh because meetings have been posted on short notice and, you know, they've had some trouble scheduling meetings. I know Michelle, uh, I think it's Michelle, the attorney on the CONCOM has wanted to attend and John voiced some frustration that she wasn't able to attend. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. So there is another, my point is there is another interested person from CONCOM as long as the meetings are scheduled far enough out. Um, and John's, John wants to have standing meetings and be good. Yeah, that would be. It would be good to get that effective. All right, so we've done that. Uh, annual town meeting warrant. So we have a new and improved version of the annual town meeting warrant. Uh, changes, uh, well, I think we want to obviously go through and make sure there's nothing you want to cut out, which we did. It might be the old. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. <coughs> nothing we want to cut out? <laughs> well, you need to decide if there's things you want to cut out. Um, I did, at, if we go to the last page. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second to last page, actually, that's down capital at the bottom, I, yes, I have the generic ca capital article, and I and what I'm trying to do is just break them out, uh, just have a cash portion, if we have any. Mm -hmm. uh, have a debt-funded one, and I'm, what I'm thinking about there is if we're buying vehicles, they're probably going to be under debt-funded. Mm -hmm. The third one is Bob McGee had proposed to us, and I'm not sure we want to go down this path or not, but had proposed to us having articles to take on some major road projects. Right, he talked about that. Um, so I would think, you know, I, I'll, I'll spruce this up to put the actual names of the roads in there. Bob gave them to me, I just didn't transfer them into here. Um, yep, sorry. And then uh, there are two that I don't have the language for, um, but King Philip has <coughs> to give to us, um, but they're working on them. Mm -hmm. And so that's one is for the turf fields, and one is for I'm just generically calling it plumbing, but that's their uh, the middle problem school. they have at the L the, the middle, middle school. school. The middle school uh, what is it, the waste pipe? pipe? Well, it's the pipe. They only have one pipe, right? Yeah, they have a pipe that's blocked, um, and they need to do it's underneath one of the gyms. They need to gym in some classrooms. It's a hundred and something thousand dollar problem. Oh my goodness. Um, so with the turf fields, do you have any idea how much they're looking for? No, I don't. I, I don't. Th and Scott may have better information than me, but I don't think they're looking for money. I think this is that thing just to be able to raise money. I thought. Yeah, they're I think, money I think they're looking for an account to be able right. to deposit. I, well, I think they got Robin. that. I think now they're oh, looking to be able sorry. to spend money from that account. Okay, so, but yeah, they're not asking us for any money. So right not. Now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's do you know what the delta is now on their fundraising? I don't, and they don't. didn't last two weeks ago when I asked them. They were still working on that. Now, I mean, there could because to be, you know, not I'm not trying to sound critical. The, the school's not collecting the money. They've got the turf committee. They've got a committee that's collecting the money, and they just haven't communicated that to them yet. You know, under law, we could CPA, CPC, could support some funding, not the actual turf field, but some ancillary, like drainage or something like that. Could really? be in the, in the town of Norfolk. In the town of Norfolk. Yeah, can it not be over there? I think. I mean, that yeah, was I that was a limitation we ran into one time when we started talking about it with the prison and putting those fields over in Walpole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
be worth looking at just to confirm that, but it sounds like it would be true just in the yeah. town, unfortunately. Uh, Even though it's a tiny know. town, like it benefits. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, King Philip's an instrumentality of the town. You no, know? I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. But it might be something yeah. you can test. Uh, for, uh, and there may, we may be able to get around that. I just I know we ran into that when we started talking about turf fields over at the mm -hmm. Walpole site that we were going to share with Walpole. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get very far with that. Um, um, you know, but I the, and and then to back up a little bit, you know, I, I think I've mentioned it to you. I'm not a. Um, I realize how much the turf fields will be used by the school, and you know that the soccer team comes over to to Norfolk to the Freeman Kennedy School to play their games. And, yeah. Oh yeah. So having a turf, my point is having a turf field at the junior high, um, you know, goes beyond what the high school what the. King Philip is looking at right now, but I, it's inevitable that they're going to need more than one field. I mean, it's, it's just no, it's true. It should be turf out. I mean, it's too much to bite off. But you're right because the the, the the band wants to practice on the turf field because they're tired of practicing on the parking lot and uh, having problems. So there's they get concussions when they fall over. Actually, I was shocked. The band yeah. has yeah. a high number of concussions. Yeah. I know. I they do. Kidding me? No. Well, because they do on the yeah. Give him credit; they do practice in that high school parking lot. Yeah. People drive around in there; they have this. One kid was hit by a car. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah uh, and they get problems part with people who leave their cars there. Yeah. I'd be inter I'd love to challenge the other two towns. Yeah, I, I keep bringing it up with the Will town administrators. You know, go ahead. Uh, well, I'm back on something. I apologize, but back on the zoning. Turf fields. Oh wait. <laughs> um, Changing <laughs> entirely. Yep. Well, it, it's just. <laughs> Let's build a hockey you, you raised something that. You know, we have their the people that are on it now. Their terms have expired. Yeah. Yes. So they shouldn't be meeting. In, I mean, these. No, they they. No, they can they can continue. There's the State continuation law, law that uh, until you reappoint, they they live on in or on a, or remove. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. But I mean, you can remove by not reappointing too. No, but you have to. No, you can't have to actually you can remove, remove by. We have to replace their successor. You can't just take them off. Um, I think, <laughs> I think, I think could. you could vote to you could proactively vote to take them That's off if I'm you saying. wanted to. Yeah. Well, I just at some point we've got to get that committee structured correctly. Yeah, I, I'm point. with you. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm with yeah. you. I'm just I, I move to appoint a blank chair <laughs> and a desk. That one right there. Leave <laughs> it vacant. There you go. All right, so we uh, we we yeah, non digressed. Yeah. Um, all right, so you added those <coughs> to the plumbing, a hundred and some odd thousand. Yeah, doing an RFP first to get the engineer to oversee the project. Committee of one. Now up, up to twenty five thousand dollars for the engineer, you know, guy to do the. You know, but then I asked him when I was at the meeting. I said, Jack, I asked him, make sure you don't pick the same guy to do sewer than how to do a septic all over again. Yeah. It's like it seems like don't make the same mistake twice. They, I tried to say it a little bit in jest, but was, they're like, oh no, that won't happen. Like, well, I'm not sure what happened the first time. So they're coming to all three towns. Oh, I, no, I, um, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. For, that pro yeah. for that project, yeah. yeah. Um, but they're also talking, though, about using the E&D funds for this because they got a, a side, <coughs> not a side letter, but they questioned that, right? I thought I told you. So they're going to use, they proposed probably for this, I thought they'd use E&D for that because they know they, because, yeah, but I think it still has to be approved by us. That's right, too, because Paul said, you got to look at that. They're going to use, it would be a capital thing for us three towns, but it would, the money would come from e and I'm pretty sure, is the way Paul explained it. Because some, you know, this year. Well, they, when I talked about, it, they weren't clear about where the funding was coming okay. from. Okay, right. And I don't think anyone can argue about this. I mean, this isn't that's what they figured. Yeah, frivolous spending. Okay, so, so what do we do with this board? All right, would what's so. the temperature of the board? Do you guys want to go through and do a little review? Would you like to? Can, can just, I, I forgot one. Yes. Back up so one from the, where the I, fire department. The fire Twenty-two thousand dollars. Right. I, this this goes back, so Cole's been you know trying to add EMTs and he's he's trying to add his 13th firefighter, and uh, you know we always have this hurdle about wow that's the the equipment is is too much you know so we can't do it and so I said well let's do what we used to do 10 years ago and and just let's have a separate article right. you know this is a non recurring cost and if you want to be able to bring on more EMTs well let's just bring it to town meeting vote and so you know, people think. And, and talk about um, obviously bring it to you guys first as a vote and then to town meeting. So that's the that's the genesis of that. Rather than trying to add twenty two thousand to his budget, right. which we would then have to take out next year. No, I'm fine with that. I'm fine. So personally, I mean, it's up to the town. He talked about that when he came out of his budget. Yeah. Yeah. 
it is a kind of capital expense in people in a sense. It's an investment in good fire protection. Well, I, I, Mr. Chairman, make us make a suggestion. Sure. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to. There's a couple of these articles I'd like to do some work on. That, although not I'm, most of them are pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. uh, the only the only real strong feeling I have is is the article by the planning board and the two articles by the zoning bylaw study committee. I would like to see postponed until the fall town meeting mm -hmm. when we have this planner on board. So I would propose that we not make them part of a warrant. So this would be the planning board one Good. about the contractor headquarters. Right. The next one after that. Zoning bylaw study committee medical marijuana. Right. I think we have to do something with the medical marijuana because doesn't it, doesn't it come off the uh, moratorium? I thought that was some of the issue. Maybe that's a different section. Um, we could look into that. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, maybe it's a temporary more. I'm not yeah, I mean, some language. It, it, I think mechanically no. Okay. We don't really because there's no more opportunity for applications that the window's closed. Okay. Um, so the residential density piece. Absolutely. That that has got to go to the planner. We we know the controversy around that. Yeah. What was this intended to do? Oh, move it defined. from planning board to zoning board. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, but the current applications, uh, any applications currently underway wouldn't be affected by no, this. Correct. Okay. Uh, the other medical marijuana piece. That's it. Now we, I don't, you know, I, we could hold off on the ones by Mr. Bullock till we better understand them, <laughs> uh, and the petitions have to be on there. Yeah, the medical office one kind of concerns yeah, me. Yeah, you, you raised a very good point. So yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to pull the building commissioner ones as well. I, I would. If you're going to keep it, if you're going to be consistent, yeah, if we're going to be consistent. Yeah, and I'm, okay. I'm, fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Hey, um, Jack or Marin, I know the, the ones by petition. I know they're going to probably say you know because not everyone's going to have a copy of the map block a lot. What, what, is there a reason? Is there a law? Or why can't they put this if, unless it doesn't have a defined street address? I mean, if I was an interested party listening, I mean, I happen to watch. I was bored, so I watched the uh, planning board meeting, so I know what these properties are. But does, you know, a layperson doesn't know what lot, map 14, block 4, lot well, 11. The, the, that's the way you have to. Okay, it, you it can't. be discussed at town meeting. Okay, I, mean, I you think. You have to it, disclose it, exactly where these well, are. They oh, should put the, in the right, so when they get the people at home, because we're going to mail this to them finally now, instead of, because one of them is Kelly's property, right? And one is one away from It'll me. It'll go in the explanation. Like, explanation. Oh, okay. Oh, from the yeah, from advisory the board? Advisory board. Thank you. Yeah. I just figured the title, I know it has to go this <coughs> way, but it also could be in parentheses. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? I couldn't tell you exactly which one. I, I watched the planning board meeting. It's the only reason I know which three are. I mean, I, I, I forgot the first one. I assumed the two, two out of three. So we're, we're going to do, uh, we should do this by motion, I guess, should we not? Yes. Yeah. So I move to remove from the warrant the article submitted by the planning board uh, referencing the B1 District Town Center for contractor headquarters. I move to remove Submitted by the Zoning Bylaw Study Committee, the article uh, Section J C1 District Routes 1A 115. I move to remove submit, uh, the article submitted by the Zoning Bylaw Study Committee for uh, residential density and the following article associated with marital marijuana, and to remove the article submitted, uh, zoning article submitted by the Building Commissioner. And again, sure, the reason I being is that I would like them to be part of the review process that involves the town planner. And by the and not the least of which is that it is our practice to bring zoning articles to the fall town meeting, not to the spring town meeting. Second. There is a second. Uh, motion made and second. Any further discussion on the motion? Uh, oh, not on the motion, but like Jim said, the, the practice of bringing them to you know to the fall town meeting. But I think with the planner. Maybe we can. I'm not saying we're going to bring zoning articles to both meetings, but now I think once we have a town planner, he or she is up to speed. I think maybe it's a little bit more appropriate you can bring him. If things were emergent. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't want to discourage people. I know what you mean. Yeah, we so. have certainly done it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah we, did, we just did it last but, time, right? But I just, just I'm concerned that we, we continue to do sort of reactionary zoning. Yeah. And, and we've got a professional on board who's accepted. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to be on board April 14th. And that's that's one of the primary, as you said earlier, it's one of the primary uh, job descriptions that, uh, and he's well experienced. And let him get involved in this and, and make some recommendations. They may come back in the same format. It's, it's not, I'm not judging them. I right. just think yeah. they need to be put together with what's currently on the books and see if it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, so made a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. So we've pulled those items off, Jack. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Anything else you want to look at? Or? 
Would you entertain a motion to close the warrant? Are there any other ones that you know of? This is street acceptance. I don't think that's a big problem. Uh, it's, uh, is it spelled properly? <laughs> In the street team. <laughs> Which one's that one there? And Galloping it, fruit it, way. It, 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 it. <laughs> oh, we know it's not a veteran. Oh, it's not a veteran. I mean, that's it. Marion had thrown out a motion for the pesky one. And uh, <coughs> Marion's not a member of the board. It's like the last time I checked. Marion's not even a resident of Norfolk. I'm not though. Put their own You may out. have been here at its founding, but you left, so. Wow. Gloves are off. I think I think my remark is now in second place. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, uh, Rob, you're lucky going you, out, you, man. You, you, are now, bang. you are now number one. <laughs> <laughs> There's no turning back now, Rob. Number one in her heart. All right, I, uh, I move to close the warrant. Second. Motion is made and seconded to close the warrant. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Warrant is closed. Be all ye warned. <laughs> Until we open it again to add something. Yeah. No, we never do that. Okay. All right. So, I think we got anything else. I think that's about it. Um, Jack, you do not have capital or budget review. We will adjourn this evening to meet again. 18th, I think. 18th. March 18th. Will you have? Um, you'll have the budget and capital by the 18th. Yes. Okay. What the motion? Oh, okay. Um, anyone have anything to say? Anything have anything to say before we go? No. No? Uh, there are still open seats. I was going to oh, say. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank We've you. We still got um, school committee, planning board, King Philip. School committee. Yep. And recreation. And recreation. Room on recreation. So open, open seats for all of those offices and boards. And, and town government doesn't work without volunteers. Uh, so please. Get out there and take out papers. Yeah, if Marion can make motions and rent them, we need some people from Norfolk, too. Yeah, we need more people from Norfolk to make <laughs> motions on this town government. Be helpful. Uh, it should not be. Uh, See how much fun we have? Office. And I know it's, it's not, sometimes can be difficult, but uh, that's, that's the hardest part. I just, I, I would love to see more people involved in, uh, in the town, and I think people sometimes are hesitant because they don't feel like they can crack the inner circle of, right. uh, of but it's not that difficult to crack. You just come to one meeting. Scott, Mr. Bugby did it. Yeah, <laughs> anyone could do it. That should be proof right there. <laughs> thank you, Jack. I knew that. That wasn't my point, but, no, no, uh, but thank I'm you. Sure you <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Got uh, it. Mary told me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I started with recreation. And the time but. commitment. I mean, people, uh, the one of the things I hear, oh, I, oh, I don't have no, the time. It's really not. I don't know, think I said that once or twice. But the time commitment on any given a day. normal board isn't draconian. So, I mean, the school committee meets two times a month? Once a month. Once, Once a, a month. month. Once a month. Mm -hmm. um, planning board is twice a month. Planning board, I, I would say you've got to be seriously committed to do that. No, I would agree. That's a time That's, commitment. Yeah. But recreation, you were on that? Yeah, it's twice, I think twice a month. It, it was not a big commitment. Huh? It was fine. I mean, I, if you enjoy recreation, uh, just you know, that, that board, because no one usually yells at you. You, so. you don't want to. I know what you're saying. I don't saying. want to undersell. You no, know, but you also don't want to totally mislead. I mean, if, if you're, you're going to, I would hope that folks that get involved in these boards take those roles in a responsible manner and, and get involved and spend the time that you need to spend to make reasonably good yeah. judgment decisions. So it, it's, it's a lot more than what you just see take place on TV. Right. And, and, you know, there are other meetings that take place and so on. But I, I would say that it, it can be very rewarding and, and that you, you get as much back as you give. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and we need the help. Uh, I mean, it, it isn't an inner circle I, to me. It's, it's just a bunch of volunteers trying to make the town the best place we can with what we got to work with. And uh, uh, I hope more people will get involved and serve the community. It's, it's, it can be very rewarding in many ways. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, move to adjourn. Second. Second motion has been made and seconded. When we adjourn this evening, we will come back on March 18th, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The ayes have it. We stand adjourned to March 18th. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.